Good morning, everybody. Am I in the dark? <laughs> I guess I am. Uh, I'm on the shady side of the bus. Uh, yeah, you can see the sewer line and what have you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm tired of being inside all the time, so I thought I, while it's still not hot, hot, I'll sit out here for a while and talk to you. Oh my gosh. You know, this is a really nice RV park. Mm -hmm. Quiet, it's quiet. The only thing I ever hear is my dogs when they bark. <laughs> and we don't leave them outside very long either. We don't want them outside very long. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's so nice. So quiet. The owner's lovely. They're lovely people. And uh, I don't ever see a neighbor. Now, actually, I think a lot of people are indoors right now because of the heat. So you don't get to see many of them. <laughs> Maybe, you know, when it cools off a little bit, but probably by then we'll be in Yuma. Because uh, we're going to go, we're going to try to be in Yuma. Uh, actually, by the middle of September, so we'll have our whole seven month stay there in Yuma for $180, you can't beat it. We have access to water there anytime we need it, uh, dumpsters, uh, oh my goodness, it's so many different things that we have access to there. Uh, for a dollar, take a shower. So. Hey, as nomads, you know, we use wet wipes a lot or washcloth, you know, however we do our sponge baths. <laughs> but uh, other than that, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't open that and do that myself. <laughs> so I figured I'd wait. I got it picked up, though. Had to pick up the poo-poo. But, oh. Look at those plants. Oh my goodness. Go to the store. Oh, huh? Go to the store. Okay, honey. Did you want to take my wallet to get? No? Okay. All right. Let me show you something. Let me see if I could. I don't know what those plants there are. They look like ALO or IA, whatever. Everybody pronounces it different, okay? But, uh, Oh, I'd love to have some of them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, which reminds me, I've got to water the plant that Richard, the park owner, that he gave me. So I got to water that today. Um, but, yeah. Oh, and as far as my new channel, I mean, I'll have... On the description, I have a link to it. Um, it it's it's going to take time, you know. It will take time. I'm not going to do a video every day on it because I don't have my opinion on everything in the world, you know, just certain things that are going on. Um, a person asked me about... Do I just want it? something to the effect that I just want to talk about my religion, don't want to talk about somebody. That's not what I said. That That's not what I meant to say. If I did say it like that, I didn't mean it. I just know that many people believe in many different things. And I, I don't care what denomination you're from. I do care what God do believe in, but that's up to you, not me, you know, and I'm not going to, I will say that I am a disciple of Christ and I am not ashamed. So if I say how I feel about certain things in my beliefs, that's fine. And you could say what you want to say in your belief, but I don't want an argument out. You know, 
I, I've been to several denominations, okay? I've been, I was uh, raised, well, I was baptized Catholic, raised Catholic. Uh, went to a convent, <laughs> was going to become a nun. I didn't want to, my mother wanted me to. All that. Then I went to Baptist. Then I went to Assembly of God. which I did love that church. I mean, it was really great. And from that, I went to non-denominational, which is generally when I do go to church, I go to a non-denominational church. The church that I'm a member of is a non-denominational church. And uh, I'm happy there. But I'm happy anywhere because God is everywhere. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. I look at this. I see God. Oh, let me maybe let you see. I see God in this. I see God in that plant. I see God up there. I see God every time I breathe. So I don't have to go to a church to experience the Holy Spirit. I love to be in the church with my fellow uh, church members where I go because I love these people and they show love. I think I've never seen so much love shown in any other church I've ever been to as I do in that church. Fresh Anointing Ministry is an awesome, awesome church with wonderful, loving people that never make you feel because of the way you're dressed or uh, the way you act, the way you speak. Nothing about that. They don't look at you like that. They look at you from here. And that's why I love that church. So, yes, I miss my church. I do. I miss my church. I miss, I miss Paul and his wife, Melissa, and Deidre, and Miss Pastor Taylor, and David. I miss all of them. I miss all these people. Mother Mary. But, you know, I'm right here. And he's right here, right now. <laughs> he's right here. <laughs> and I feel it. I feel it. I feel him. So how can I deny him? I can't deny him. I won't deny him. But I also understand that you have your own beliefs and that you don't want to deny yours either. But don't don't debate about it. Don't. Because I had to do my own searching before I found him. And we all have to do our own search. You know, one thing I, I was told years and years ago, now don't get me wrong, I'm just going to repeat something I've heard. I heard from a man that was in the military and he was in the war zone, he was in Vietnam. And he told me, he says, you know, God is real to people, to some people, when there's no other way out. <laughs> and he said he saw during war where even atheists that were shot and they were dying, they did not believe in a God. But they said, oh, my God, help me. Oh, my God. So he's there for all of us. But you got to reach out. Because he's a gentleman. My father, he's a gentleman. He doesn't push himself on you. He won't push himself on you. He will send people your way to plant seeds 
but it's up to you whether you grow the plant or not. So, anyway, I'm going to stop now because I'm going to start getting emotional because I'm really feeling it. So, I'm going to say I love you all. If you get a chance, go to my new channel. Like I said earlier, I'm not going to be posting every single day on it. This is my primary channel. So, I love you all. Peace. God bless you. And keep us all in your prayers. And I have a friend. Excuse me. And she's one of my subscribers. Uh, RV Butterfly. Her husband is in need of prayer. Uh, please, all you prayer warriors, put them in your prayer list. God knows what the problem is. And uh, I'm definitely praying for him. Peace again.